What up, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet or you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, high videos, podcasts, interviews, and more, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, give me your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Should the Dodgers trade catching prospect Caber Ruiz, their top prospect right now? Should they consider moving him? And if for so, should it be for a bat? Should it be for a pitcher, a reliever? Are there some names you want to see the Dodgers target before the trade deadline? Let me know down below in the comments section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So just like that, we're getting closer and closer to the MLB trade deadline, which this year is on July 30th. And today, MLB.com listed catching prospect Caber Ruiz as the Dodgers' top trade chip that they could make available if they want to go big at the deadline. In the MLB.com article, it says, the Dodgers won't actively shop Ruiz, but the team is trying to repeat as World Series champions, and they could make a splash by adding Ruiz in a package for help at the deadline. With catchers Austin Barnes and Will Smith on the active roster. There's no clear path to the majors for Ruiz. The Dodgers could decide to stick with the depth, given that Ruiz is the next man up if Barnes and Smith have to miss time. But if they feel like the player coming to them via trade can take them over the top, adding Ruiz to that package would make a lot of sense. So the question is, should the Dodgers really consider trading their number one prospect, catcher Kbert Ruiz? Well, you remember in early May, he actually had a cup of coffee in the show this year. He actually went one for seven, but that one hit was a dinger on the first pitch he faced this year. Good impression. He hits the first ball that he sees, the deep right field, and gone! Welcome back to the bigs, Kbert Ruiz! But this year in AAA, he's slashing 286, 333, 589 with a 923 OPS, three home runs, and a double. So if you're going to cash in on him, now might be the time because just like that, he's already 22 years old. Remember, the Dodgers signed him for $140,000 when he was only 14 out of Venezuela, and they have Will Smith. Will Smith, he just turned 26 in March, and it looks like the Dodgers are fully committed to him being the catcher of the future. And you also saw Will Smith play some third base a few weeks ago and that didn't go very well I don't think that's going to be a long term solution for the Dodgers having Will Smith at the hot corner and then there's Austin Barnes who acts as Clayton Kershaw's personal catcher now this is the last year of Kershaw's deal with LA who knows what his future holds and what that means for Austin Barnes but it looks like the Dodgers are set at the catcher position and then there's Diego Cartaya the 6th ranked prospect in the Dodgers organization this guy is a young Phenom. He's only 19 years old right now in Rancho. He's slashing 419, 486, slugging 1000, has an OPS of 1486, two doubles and five bombs in just eight games. This guy is an absolute superstar in waiting for the Dodgers. And now, yes, he could be a few years away. There's no question about it. But when you factor in Will Smith's age at 26 and you have Cartaya down the pipeline, where does that leave Cabert Ruiz? And if you're Cabert Ruiz, I call him the big cape hurt. This has got to hurt at some point because you want your opportunity to compete in the show. You think you're big league ready. It's just you're being blocked at the moment. You're not going to play another position. You're not going to be a right-handed bat, a left-handed bat. He's a switch hitter off the bench or anything like that, especially when the Dodgers just signed Pujols. So there's not going to be very many opportunities for him to get big league action with this current roster. And I think it might be good for both parties to try to move on if you can get what you want in return. Now, now, as far as which position the Dodgers should target, I think that's another big question that this organization is going to have to ask itself because, yes, starting pitching has been dominant. They've been fantastic for most of this year, but how are guys going to look for an entire 162-game season? How will these pitchers look after the MLB crackdown? We know the relievers have dealt with injuries. Can you get a big-name reliever to bolster that bullpen, or do you want to target a corner outfielder? I think that's something they might want to strongly consider, a righty that can match 
against lefties because this season they're slashing 224, 317, 386 with a 703 OPS against Southpaws. That's their worst mark since 2016. This team struggles against lefties continue. And in the postseason, I know A.J. Pollock had a nice breakout year last year, but in the postseason in 2019, he struggled. He was pretty much terrible. He was struck out 11 times in 13 at-bats. Last season, a better postseason, but you didn't get those power numbers. Not very many extra base hits. Would you consider getting a different righty bat to replace A.J. Pollock? If you really want to take it to the next level, I think that's something you might want to strongly consider. Now, as far as specifics go, I'm going to be dropping a video either tomorrow about the names I want to see the Dodgers go after when it comes to relievers and position players. Look out for that. But let me know down below in the comments. Do you think the Dodgers should consider trading away Cabert Ruiz? To me, it depends on the player, of course. It depends if they can get a big name that really fills a need right now. I definitely would be open to the idea. I'm not just going to give him away for pennies on the dollar just to unload him. I think you have to be wise with that trade chip. But it's definitely something I would consider because I do think this team is a puzzle piece away from really winning it all this year. Yes, at full strength, they'll be able to contend. There's no question about it. But you see there's a need in the bullpen. The Dodgers offense, they've sputtered. They've been inconsistent this year, especially against lefties. And bottom line is if you have an opportunity to win a World Series and you think you're a player or two away, I think you make that move because no one remembers this depth if you're going to the NLCS. If you win a World Series, it lasts for a long time. You got to get as many World Series titles as you can in this run. Run, and then you start talking about a dynasty if you can ring off a couple World Series in consecutive fashion. So to me, I'm open to the idea. Depends on the player. But let me know down below in the comments. Would you want to see the Dodgers trade away Caber Ruiz? Are there some names that you're interested in? I'm going to be dropping a video, like I said, with tons of names either tomorrow or the next day. Look out for that. But I want your takes on that. And what are your thoughts on Diego Cartaya? Where are you at on the hype train right now? How excited are you about the young phenom? Let me know down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all this Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game, you're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. For the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.